Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, CCX here. Welcome back to more Chrono Cross. In the last episode, we ended up getting our massive plot dump that Harley was the seventh dragon. The dragons ended up betraying us, and Kid was apparently being controlled by something. I don't really know. Anyways, Kid has been incapacitated. Terra's Tower has been reborn. And now we have our final few preparations before we head to Terra's Tower. We need to go ahead and try to figure out a way of how to be able to get to Terrace Tower, but, you know, we don't really know how. So the first area that we're going to go to, we're going to head to, we're going to head back to the Bends of Time. Well, the Divine Dragon's Fall, I should say. So, replace your party with Stina, and then an event will unfold. All right, so as of so far, when you can rescue Kid again, but at this point, you actually can go ahead and get another ending. Uh, I actually never really bothered to mention all that, but just like Chrono Trigger, there's certain points of the game where you can be able to unlock different endings. I'm not going for them, obviously, because that will be too much time. But anyways, once you have defeated Fate, you come back here. And you plant both the ter the tier of hate and the tier of love. They'll go ahead and do their little thing. Now you can finally put them on the pedestal without them going back down. I don't know why we have to defeat fate for that to happen, but whatever. And then they'll combine together to create the final seventh element. And we have received the Chrono Cross, the final seventh element of the game. And that was very, all right, yeah, we got it. <laughs> now, the thing about the Chrono Cross element is that the only person who can equip it is, is Surge. No one else can equip the, um, okay, I know why the Chrono Cross wasn't, um, wasn't available yet. We basically didn't know what the hell we were. And this is it. The Chrono Cross. As you can see, it's all multicolored. The long lost element of the seven color attribute. And yes, Saints has to be replaced. The Chrono Cross is an eighth spell element and it can only be used by Surge himself and nobody else. Um, I have happened to the other guys. Okay. I'm not going to complain. Actually, no, I am going to complain. Where the hell did they go? Eh, whatever. I guess their, I, I guess their ex excavation is over. So, yeah. Well. Okay. The wars of humans began to mine great. Go to take over then. See the spiritual blah. Whatever. All right. All right. So you guys are probably want. We already know where Kid is. So, all right. Before I go to Kid, there's one thing I should mention. If you go back to the Water Dragon Isle, and you can be able to get Rizzles as level seven tech. I'm not gonna get that because there's really no point. Well, there probably is, and there's probably isn't, but who cares? Um. And if you go back to Hydra Marsh, and this is only um, this is only important if you're playing New Game Plus. If you go back to the Hydra Marsh, you'll be able to obtain all your characters once you have gotten the Chrono Cross. So that's another thing. All right, but now our main episode is going to be the Hermit's Hideaway. You have to be in the Hermit's Hideaway in the other world because that's exactly where Kid is. So let's go ahead and visit Kid, shall we? Cause damn it, she needs some talking to that woman who is incapacitated and caused this to happen. But eh, she she's gonna be fine, I think. I don't know. So Radius, how's she doing, bruh? Kid is resting in bed. She hasn't come out of her coma yet. 
Hmm. Maybe we should fix that. Huh? Hey, it's the princess. Let me see. Oh, I think you're right. I wonder what happened. Do you think we should help her? Princess? Nah, it's not our job. Yeah, I guess so. It's probably out of our league anyway. Yep. Huh, Masamune was talking. Hey, aren't we heartless? Ah, sis. Oh, it's a girl. Okay, well, that fooled the hell out of me. <laughs> but the princess is bound by the past, and even we can't bring her back here. Look closely. See that? Hey, it's the... The time egg. Yes, although it's not in the complete form, did that girl with the glasses make it? Probably. Even though it's in its incomplete form, we can focus our powers into it. Then maybe it will work. Yeah. Okay, new master. Uh... Yeah, it's you. We're gonna lend you our powers for a bit. We're sending you back to the past where the princess is bound. We only have one chance. Take care of the princess. Master Mune! And that happened. And if people who are familiar with Chrono Trigger and... Welcome to Lucas's house. Hey, look, it's Gatto. Miss Kid and Mistress Luca are stuck in the back room. I'm sorry that I lacked the power to help you. Fizz. Hey, that was Gatto, the guy that was in the, um, the Millennium Fair and we ended up getting silver points. Hey, you bastards. Get out of my nostalgia home. This is basically a very huge nostalgia for people who are familiar with Chrono Trigger. But if you're not familiar with Chrono Trigger, that's fine. But you guys are probably wondering, what does Masa and Mew mean by princess? Well, let's just say... Kid is more than she led on to believe. And now that we have the Chrono tr Cross, as you can see there, every time we do a Pacific Element, the blue light will go ahead and um, we'll get an indicator of light that shows up near the field effect. It's actually important to know this because you need to go ahead and you need to go ahead and learn this right away because you're going to have to learn this when you're about to fight the final boss. I kid you not. So, yeah. Oh, I forgot. I don't even have anything on you. Eh, whatever. Do what you want. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> that one was Darius Shadow. <laughs> but yes, you need to go ahead and learn this. You need to learn this or else you will technically won't be able to defeat the final boss. Also, the Chrono Cross is not a, a it's not a element that you can use. This here, however, we can activate this, but we can't activate it not not yet anyways. Not until we learn what the hell the password even is. But I recommend looking at everything first before you start going. Now, the other problem is is that if you're not familiar with this place, Uh, wow. <laughs> Sorry, too bad, kid. <laughs> really? Wow, but I don't even know you. To put out the flames, you ought to try using Lucas' ice gun invention. She says she keeps it in the wall in her room up to the second floor. Alright, thanks, kid. What about you? Thanks a lot, mister. I didn't make it in time, so I had to hide. There's still more of us hiding in the room. It's gonna be okay. Gee, thanks. And he gave us a... You know, it's weird how we're in the past, but we're receiving items. Eh, whatever. Anyways, let's enter and let's continue on forward. If you are familiar with this house, though, you should you should technically be familiar of how Luca's house works. There's a memo line on the floor. 
I've created a new code for the new generation. It now replaces the old one my father wouldn't use. Circle stands for O. Square stands for D. Triangle stands for A. Cross stands for X. Using this, for example, the children will never guess. Road is spelled. R, circle, triangle, square. My father, Tybin. I'll be proud not to mention my mother, of course, Luca. Okay. This is very important. Actually, no, it probably really is important. We need to know this. At least I think we do. Beautiful view and expensive special. Alright. Recipe for good receiving. My right, god, Luca, what the hell? In case of fire, use this ice gun. Not for children under 12. <laughs> or a mechanical <laughs> Uh, If you take the ice gun now, the one part of memory will disappear. But in all honesty, you're going to take it anyways. But I kind of want to get, I want to kind of get everything first before I end up starting to pick up that. I mean, not only it matters anyways, because I mean, if one part of memory disappears, who cares? So, while I'm doing this, essentially, at the end of Chrono Cross, at the end of Chrono Trigger, if you have played the PS1 version with the animated cutscenes, or if you played the, um, the DS port, what happens is, is at the end, Luca finds Kid, but the thing about it is that She's wearing a character's emblem, necklace, and, you know, we essentially, the thing is, is that Luca doesn't know this as of right now, but we end up, she just end up taking her in, and she created this orphanage. She essentially made her house into an orphanage as a whole. I'm not sure why she decided to do that, but I guess it's because she wanted to have the kids be in a safe place. Her mother and father have passed away at this point. Her mother being Lyra, when there was a side quest that you had to do where you, the passcode was L-A-R-A, -A, there's a similar password that we have to do in this as well, where we have to press L-A and R-A as well. Except, obviously, since there is no L's... Whoa, oh. Oh, wait a minute. Huh, I was supposed to... Hold on, give me a second. I'm trying to figure this out. Okay, there we go. Uh, that actually took a little bit longer than it was supposed to. Alright, the password for this is basically you're supposed to press L2 when you're near this. And when you hear the beep sound, you're supposed to press triangle, R2, triangle, and X. It's supposed to be a reference to Lyra's this passcode where you were about to when you were about to rescue her, which was L-A-R-A. -A. But since you're playing on the PS1, obviously, there is no L-A-R-A. -A. It's the same exact gimmick. It's the same L-A-R-A, -A, just you know, slightly different. Anyways, now we can take it. By the way, Hasha is also a reference to Lucas' is, um... I want to say Lucas' is a final... Well, no, actually, no. It, it's not a reference to that. Sorry, Master. Sorry, Master. This is all the power I have. Sadly, he has to get rid of one person, though. Eh, it's okay, Masa, Masamune. Anyways, um... When... Ah, crap. It, it's a reference to Lucas' is wonder shot. Wondershot was Lucas's special weapon that allowed her to rarely do a lot of damage or rarely or usually do less damage. Actually, I also think I'm also in the wrong direction too, but it doesn't really matter because Surge can handle himself. But yeah. Hot shot is kids. It's level seven tech. I'm not sure if you didn't go after Daria, would you be able to get kid? 
But I'm assuming since Matt Masa and Mewn are talking, they're the ones that sent you here. So I guess if you don't go after Daria, you can't get you can't get Kid back. That's the only thing I can think of. If that is the case, then oh, there's something new I knew I never knew about. And of course, there's a random. You know, this place looks a lot bigger than what the hell is than what it looked like in the original Chrono Trigger. But then again, we're also in 3D. That's why this place used to be in um. I don't even know what the hell. I don't even know what they even call it. 2D? Nah, I don't know. Upscale? I don't know. My point is, is that this place is very different looking. <laughs> but I like this though. See, the thing is, I don't want to say what Hoop Kid is because that will be a massive spoiler. I'll essentially tell you who Kid is once we actually get to the end of Terra Tower. Because at that point, see, as of right now, if I use this, what it'll do is just reset all of my. It'll, what, essentially, what Chrono Cross actually does, you know how you can use your move only once? If you use Chrono Cross, it gives you back all your elementals. Meaning that it allows you to reuse all your elements all over again. This is actually important just in case if you run out of elements during the final boss. Because you're going to need it. And just like the Cryo Sphinx that taught us the song. Or taught us the Pacific notes. The Pacific elements that we're supposed to use. You're supposed to know this because if you don't. Well. If you don't know this. You're kind of going to get screwed. You got to save that kid. Even though I don't remember. Oh. Call me sis. Luca. Ha. That's cute. I should. I, I, I want to save that kid. <laughs> no, not that kid. The other kid. Oh, the kid is. Oh, that's right. I'm dumb. Oh, you never play Chrono Trigger. You don't know the layout of Luca's house. Eh, I do, and I... Whoa, there are three of these guys. Great. Luckily enough, these guys are not as powerful. They're not really strong, in my opinion. They're very easy to beat. But it doesn't mean I want to die, though. Eh, I can't die here. It's really dumb. If I die here, that suck. But yeah, a lot of a lot of events transpired here after the whole orphanage was created. Why this place is on fire? Oh, it has something to do with a little cat. Cause the cat wanted to kill Luca. And if you guys know who the cat is, well, then good work. Then you guys know who the hell it is. <laughs> it's like, yeah, good work. That's essentially the person who set fire to this place. Same goes for the fact of who you're going to meet. In fact, in the opening of Chrono Cross, it actually shows you this fire area. So, yeah. You just didn't know where they were turning during that portion. So, now you know. I kind of, it, it's sad though, because the implicate, well, it's not really impl implied or anything. Chrono, Marlo, and Luca, they never gotten anything good. Now, none of the cast in Chrono Trigger had a very good life after the defeat of Larvos. Like, Chrono and Marla died. Luca, she died here. Well, at least I think, no. Yeah, she died here. And, you know, another character. Well, let's go down the list. The only person who basically did not really get much of a problem in them is Isla. Even though her issue was basically in the game itself. By defeating Azalea. Azel. Or whatever. Frog, he basically lost his friend, but... You know, everything else is pretty much done so for him. 
well, if you really want to think about it, the Masamune, the Masamune got into a dark state instead of into a light state because if we remember back in the that's weird. Why is my accuracy lower for some reason when I get hit by these guys? Wait. Oh. I know these guys are fatigued. The hell? Anyways, um Uh crap. The Masamune became dark instead of light, because when Frog when Glenn had it, it was good. But when he no longer had it anymore, it became dark. And that kid gives us no strong. Oh, and there's another kid hiding in the in that bedroom. Really? It's the end of the bed? There you are. Uh yay, Rainbow Shell. Look at my friend kid went in there. Eh sure, I'll go. Alright. Now that all that's done. Who's ready for some teary nostalgia? The child drawing hangs. Chrono is cool. And we see here... Kid and Auntie Luca. Oops, I mean sis. Now, where's Marla? Is she right here? Yep, there she is. Princess Marla to the rescue. You know, this makes me cry. Oh, there's Isla too. Where's Frog? Uh, that's not Frog. Oh, this Robo. I uh, can't get to thing. Eh, whatever. Alright, now we gotta use the ice gun. Luckily enough that it can last long. If it can't, then that'll be really, really dumb. Go away, you freaking fire! Good thing Lava Boys are very, very dumb. And not very smart. Okay. Okay, apparently I'm not smart. Eh, forget it. I hope I didn't miss anything. And there he is. And there's Kid right there. It's kind of the main reason as to why she wanted revenge on Lynx in the first place. Because of what happened here. Now the question is saying what the hell happened with Chrono and Marla? Why wasn't they why weren't they there? Or even, you know. Uh, it's burning. Our home is burning. Look at all my friends. Oh, by the way, you can't really see it. Well, I can't. I can barely make them out. But I'll try to brighten it up a bit. But Kid and Surge are talking from over there. You can actually see their shadow silhouettes. Are you going to go away? Are you going to leave me? I'm going to be left all on my own again, aren't I? Everybody I've ever loved has gone far, far away. Say you won't leave her. Really? Do you mean that?
that's the entire event that happened with her. But luckily, us doing that event caused her to come back from her coma. Wow, you see... Okay. <laughs> and Kid has rejoined our party again. Love how I have to actually say that. Thank goodness. This must be the power of Surge's love. <laughs> ah, yes, kid. Lucia is waiting for you in her lab in Viper Manor. She wanted to give you something. Anyway, there's no rush. I'll just see rest here for the day. And that's it, guys. We have gotten Kid back. I was going to say we got Luca back. <laughs> what? My wound? Link stabbed me? What are you talking about? Oh, wait a minute. Not again. I lose my memory sometimes. When I'm in dangerous situations where I might get hurt, I just seem to disappear and vanish. And when I come to, I wake up somewhere safe without a single scratch. But that the thing is, I can't remember what happened. I don't get it. Anyway, it happens to me plenty of times in the past, so it's nothing to worry about. Wow, your memory is stupid. And pretty messed up if you basically... Eh, whatever. And that's it, guys. And that's how you get Kid back in that... Uh, I will say that getting Kid back is probably not mandatory, but to make the game make a little bit more sense, you kind of want to get her back. I mean, unless you want to hang out with Fargo all day. I mean, I don't want to really hang out with Fargo all day. Goodbye, Fargo, and welcome back, Kid, who is our second strongest character for obvious reasons, because, you know, she is also a main character as well. Alright, so our major goal is Kid really, really friggin' sucks right now. Like, she has nothing to offer at this point. Aside from the fact that, you know, she has her pillage, and that's all I can really say. So, what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna try my damn best <laughs> in doing this... I'm going to try to go ahead and get prism armor for her and her prism daggers. So in the next episode, which is going to be a grind fest and a half, I'm doing this off screen, by the way. I will go ahead and prep myself ready. We'll head to Viper Manor to get the last scene with Kid. And then if my book is right. Oh, and we have one more boss to fight. Before we head to Terra Ridiculous Tower. So I've been CCX. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Laters.